Hey coaches, Coach Simpson again. Thank you for tuning in on my YouTube channel. A lot of information on this channel. Feel free to scroll through and look through whatever you want. This video is going to be in line with the off OC 101, Offensive Coordinator 101 kind of series I've been working on. Uh, previous video we talked about defensive alignment, understanding what a defensive strength is. And as an OC, how can I figure out what that is and take advantage of it? This video is going to talk about coverage, understanding different coverages, and then understanding how I can identify those coverages and then how I can attack those coverages. These are shorter videos. If you want more information, I have the whole Offensive Coordinator Academy over at fbcoachsimpson.com. The link should be in this video. Click there and get a lot more in-depth information. All right, let's talk about coverages real quickly. There are multiple coverages that a lot of differences can run. There's no way I can go through all of these in a, in a ton of depth, but I want to give you a couple quick tips that might be able to help you. So basically, there's two major coverages, man coverage and zone coverage. Okay, Inside of that, there's lots of options on how those can look. And defensive coordinators are getting pretty good about disguising that, making it a little bit tough. So man coverage can be a couple flavors of it. You could have a man free, where basically we have a free safety at the top. You might even have two safeties at the top, uh, or zero, where you have zero help. There's nobody on top of anybody, and it's man coverage. Okay, so there's a lot of flavors of man, but the idea of man coverage is that guy has that guy, that guy has that guy, pretty obvious, okay? Identifying that can be a little bit tougher, so I'm gonna give a tip here in a second. Okay, um, the other coverages are all flavors of zone where a player is responsible for a certain area on the field. Okay, and there are basically two major types of zone. And then the defensive coordinators are probably getting mad because they have 35 in their playbook. There's two major kinds and they, they flavor them up. The first one is a too high look where basically there are two safeties up top and there are two corners out wide. Of course, there's underneath coverage as well with it. Uh, but essentially, they're running some type of flavor where two guys are responsible for deep, two guys are responsible for the flats or kind of hook curlish area, depending on what they're in, either a cover two or a cover four. When you hear cover two, cover four, major difference, cover two, the corners are responsible for the flats, safety is responsible for deep, cover four is more of a read, and then there are a lot of these cover two, cover four read combo coverages where a different guy may end up flat and deep, but essentially it's zone where one guy has one area, one guy has the other, okay? Uh, then you have a one high coverage, which will be a one high safety. Usually, if that's a zone, that's a cover three, where three guys are responsible for covering deep, everybody else would have underneath, okay? And then you have split field coverages. So you'll see this a lot where maybe half the field is in man, um, and half the field is in zone. If you run flavors of trips where you have one receiver over here and he's clearly a man, but they're running zone on the other side, that means they're a split field coverage team. So as an offensive coordinator, that's a lot to process. How do I figure out what they're in? You know, man is usually relatively easy to identify, but how do I figure out what zone they're in, who's going where? Okay, well, a couple of little quick tips that may help you. You see this a lot of times the NFL made it po uh, very, very popular with Tom Brady, Buccaneers. Now a lot of teams are running it. We run the same kind of idea where we're going to line up in some flavor of empty. And then we're going to bring an H-back, running back, tight end type player in. We line them up out wide because what it does is it lets me know how the defense is playing us. Okay, If we line this guy up in here wide and we bring him back in the backfield quarterback, that's going to tell us a lot of different things about how they're trying to play us. Did they put a cornerback out here on a fullback tight end type player? If they did, they're probably not in man-to-man. -man. Or if they are in man-to-man, -man, you're about to feast on them with your slot versus a linebacker. Okay, So bringing the receiver, uh, running back, tight end, H-back, whatever, here and bringing him in will identify a lot. That's a pre-snap, a very easy movement. You call it jump, you call it shift, you call it whatever is your terminology, but bringing him in will help. The other thing you can do is do motion across the field. So let's say we've already brought our, our running back here, and we want to identify is this man or zone. 
when we bring some kind of this action, it could be behind the quarterback, it could be in front of the quarterback, whatever it is, we're looking at what are we doing over here, okay? Are we running and trying to shift and spill? And, you know, what I mean by that is, is this guy just going to run all the way with him? Clearly, man. Okay, they could also try to shift, so they could go here, and then this safety could shift over. That's another predicator that it is some flavor of man as well. If you don't get a lot of movement, you may get a little shift, like he may kind of shift here, he may shift here. That's usually an indicator that you're getting zone coverage. Okay, again, the flavor it is is up to you to identify when you watch the defense. But doing a pre-shift motion which basically a lot of your receiver here is you're getting set, running back here and bringing in as a good indicator of man or zone, or running any kind of motion from one side of the field across to the other side of the field is another good way for you to identify how they're playing you. It's also a very good stressor to a defense is trying to play a flavor of zone or split field coverage because that's going to require a whole lot of communication. Okay. Obviously, this is just a one-on-one. There's a lot more in-depth information about how to attack coverages. We have a whole section on that over in the Offensive Coordinator Academy. Go or uh, click the link. It's over at FB Coach Simpson and get more in-depth information if you want. I appreciate you checking out this video. If you don't mind, I appreciate if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We try to have more information coming out this offseason. Thank you.